So I'm here now with uh, Bert Weiland, who gave a great keynote speech today at the opening ceremony of the Eden Conference in Bruges. And Bert, uh, I, I heard you mention uh, quite specifically that exams are a good thing. Now, <laughs> uh, of, often people would say maybe they're not a good thing. What do you say about that? Yeah, I was afraid uh, that I was a bit too optimistic on that. <laughs> um, but it's true. I mean, research shows that exams are really beneficial. You really learn from doing exams. So I thought I had to make a point about that and, and try and convince people about the usefulness of those exams. Well, both the teachers and the students are the learners because uh, they are both concerned when it's, it's about making exams more sexy, more popular, more, more, more useful. And, and that's what I wanted to talk about, yeah. So you mentioned um, teachers um, working and learning with students. Is, is that important, do you think? I'm convinced they should. I mean, um, going back again to, to, to the technology side of the things, I think teachers and learners should really meet each other in analyzing the results of those platforms and, and things. I mean, there are, we talk about big data, and there are lots of data available on when and how and where and so on. But I'm sure the, the key to analyzing that in a good way is when teachers and learners get together and do that together, really. Yeah, that's something where I think teachers can learn from learners and learners can learn from teachers very much. So you mentioned big data, which I would call learning analytics. I think we're agreed on that. Um, what are the limits of, of learning analytics? There must be a few. Um, I think the limit is in our imagination. Um, we've, I just had an interesting discussion uh, a few minutes ago with someone about it, but the, the, the idea is probably not the technology and the algorithms. It's finding good use cases where AI and big data can, can be of a, of, of a real use for, for, for us. And I think that's the biggest challenge, finding very specific questions where, where big data and AI can find uh, solutions for. And, and so probably the problem is not with the data and not, and not with the technology, it's, it's with our imagination and, and how we can make sure that the things that we develop are really, really helpful. I, I'm afraid we don't check that often enough. <laughs> yes. So just how far can we go with AI? I mean, how, how will it impact upon education and learning and teaching in the future, do you think? Mm -hmm. I think the impact will be massive. Um, it has started and it will evolve and I think it, it'll, it'll have an impact on almost everything. I mean, um, distance, not a, not, no distance, um, 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 people, uh, humans, no humans, uh, um, exams, uh, no exams, perman permanent evaluation, you will be followed by an algorithm rather than by just some specific measures uh, that are being taken. I think it will be very impressive. Um, massive. Um, in one of the recent things uh, that I have, have discussed with a, with a professor, he generated a tool, uh, he developed a tool that generates questions automatically based on text input. So that's where AI takes over the role of a teacher in creating knowledge, in creating exams, in creating questions. What I've seen was impressive. I mean, the quality, and let me, let me, let me retake. What I've seen was impressive. The half of the questions was rubbish, but the other half was excellent quality, really. So, I mean, yeah, the, the, the impact will be massive. I'm, I'm pretty convinced that that, that is. Bert, thank you for joining us today. <laughs>